Cryo sleep sucks. Why couldn't those cheapskates put in real beds? should be in the cryopod storage area. Um, alright. Whoa. Alright, uh, fix this first. Figure everything else out later. Um, computers, steel plates. Alright, so it's got a minor crack, and it's having trouble holding containment because, uh, gyroscopes. Gyroscopes have the needed components. Alright, here we go. Um, you... Okay. Whew, alright, that should be sufficient. Alright. Now, what in the world? What in the world? What happened to the Icarus? Holy... All right. All right. Um, Short-term survival, long-term survival. We have power. Um, how much power? Um, all right, that's a, that's a decent amount of uranium. It's not going to last forever. We've got a battery. All right, battery's got decent charge. Um... <clears throat> All right, controls, there's a medical station, but I know that's not hooked up. Ooh, gravity gen, it's just powered down. All right, I'm guessing that when the reactor was damaged, it must have tripped a bunch of the safeties. Um, all right, we've got forward thrust. We have both port and starboard thrust. We've got dorsal. And... Ooh. Oh, yep, okay, we got some ventral. Okay, yeah, we got a decent amount of that. Um, do we have any braking? Okay, we have at least... Ooh, looks like we only have the one. Okay, uh, gyroscopes, there are still plenty. They really went overboard uh, designing that, but couldn't put in a freaking bed. Okay. That should mean that I might be able to actually... Oh, I don't know about the structural integrity, though. Alright, so I'm going to need oxygen, hydrogen. The cryopod would be a good thing to... Okay, okay. Looks like I was right above some of the critical infrastructure it got ejected with me. There is no way I'm going to be able to move this thing to reattach as is, which means I'll lose... Oh! Okay, there's only a little bit of power left in that battery anyway. Alright, so that won't be much of a loss. Alright, so I'm going to need... Alright, let's let's start by figuring out what else, what else we have. What else we have? Um... Oh, man. Where did... What happened to everybody? Alright, I'm... I, dumb question. I'm probably lucky to even be alive. Okay, what else do we have? Um, man, where'd all the cargo... The cargo shuttles? All the cargo? No, okay. It, it, the jump drive is gone! Oh, how am I getting out of this? There is nothing around. Alright, alright. What do we have? What do we have? Um, some spare tools. 
Oh, let me, uh, put this stuff I picked up from that gyroscope in there. Uh, some spare tools, that's good. Uh, ooh, a hydrogen and an oxygen bottle, let's carry those. Um, that'll just last me a little bit. We've got... I can probably move this guy over. Um, alright. How much ice do we have? Oh, that's a decent amount. Alright, let's start moving this ice over into the cargo, then we can move the generator over. We're gonna have to tear it down and rebuild it. Um, gotta, 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 gotta prioritize here. Freak out later. Freak out later. Um, a couple more trips. With this, look at this size of the holes in this bloody ship. Figure out what we need as we go. Let's get the H2O2 generator moved over. Then we'll get the cryopod moved over. And we'll then think about what else we need. Um, I will probably tear down what is left of this little bit that got ejected. There is nothing around. Oh, man. Man, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Focus, focus, focus. Where am I? Here I am. Um, I'm upside down. It's space. There is no upside down. All right. Um, you. Let's get as much of you on my person as I can manage. Okay, that's all of it. Um, right. We need. H2O2 generator. Let's just kind of... Uh, we just want some double colors here, right? Colors should be... Oh. Let's, uh... Let's turn you that way. There we go. You'll hook in. You'll be nice and connected. Let's get you on the line. It should automatically pull the ice, assuming the conveyor system is still partially functional. Alright. Okay, good, you pulled in ice. Oh, look at this. Alright, let's fix a little bit of this. Alright, set down. Waste a little less hydrogen. I've only got whatever this ice is until I find a new source. Bust the bottle. Alright, that'll do for the moment. I don't want to use up too much power at the moment. Alright, cryopod. I need the cryopod moved over. Uh, what else? There should be one more tool in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My drill. Alright. Let's, uh, let's, 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 yeah, don't worry about this, okay. All right, all right, all right, focus, focus, focus up. Um, here we go. All right, let's get the rest of these components. And... Okay, cryopod is online. Uh, since I'm hooked to the H2O2 generator and the storage of ice, I should be able to use this to refill. Okay. Yeah, that can refill my oxygen, my hydrogen, and my power. Okay. That is short-term survival handled. Let's... Think about the rest of this as I strip the remains out of this guy. Um, let's get these conveyors first. Oh, God. All right. Let's just get as many components as we can. I'll throw them into the storage container. What in the 
world happened? Right, let's grab this. And I guess some of these. This is in bad shape. but it's fine, it's fine. Unknown signal was detected. We'll worry about that some other time. What, what are you? Space pirates. Wonder if that's what wonder if that's what attacked us. Inventory full. Inventory full. Okay. Um we might need to get on the move. Though the ship is capable of moving, I would like to at least get this stuff salvaged before I do so, however. me your course just happens to be bringing you a little bit closer Ooh, let's hope it doesn't bring you close enough that you decide to attack all right um you guys all in there okay um i need to keep an eye on that beyond that all right what do we need now that short-term survival is out of way you know i would like let me grab this Alright, let's, uh, do an interior wall. Block. Right there, so I have some place to stand before getting in and out of the cryopod. Uh, it's not the same color as everything else, but I guess that's fine at the moment. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at this guy here and think. We're gonna need so many things. Alright, we fortunately have some thrust in all directions. We have the gyroscopes. We have controls. So we can move. I just don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. We were supposed to be heading to make way for a new colony. There were already some corporate interests in the area, so there might be some trade stations around. Oh, please don't come this way. Right, we got two of those intact. Got a medical station in case anything happens, although I don't think the conveyors are hooked up to it. I'm not judging by the state of the ship. I'm not going to feel better about this until that distance starts going back up. At least my suit is operational. All right. What else? <clears throat> All right. Um, speaking of threats, okay, we have some guns. Do they have ammo? Okay, there's some ammo. Looks like we got two on this side. Did the other side survive at all? Mm. All right, we got one on this side. 
doesn't look like any of the... Oh, wait. One interior turret. Uh, one of the interior turrets survived. Okay. Just chunks of conveyor system. That one's actually... Not too bad. Um... Lost a connector there. Darn, that's the one I preferred to use. I don't like the one on top. I mean, the one on top extends, but it's so weird being, like, inverted to just anything you want to dock with. Okay, the, the distance is going back up. That means they were far enough that they did not decide to turn and engage us. All right. Um, right, how much power do we have? Five days at a rest? Six hours. Four days. Five days. Alright, obviously the systems are still... I was also recharging my suit. Seven hours, four days. Alright. Problem is, is that this is at a rest. Not... Actually at speed, which I don't even know if we're going to be able to... I mean, theoretically, we have everything we need in order to move the ship, except maybe hull integrity of the ship. Um, I don't suppose the shields held... Ugh. No, looks like the shields went the way of the second generator. Um, oh boy. Okay. No jump drive, one generator, limited uranium, most of our spares are gone, most of our cargo is gone, there's still one here, what are you? Oh, this must have been, uh... Intended for one of the solar panels for the colony. You know what? <clears throat> Let's grab those bits at least. Let's see if we can't slap a solar panel on here. Try and extend the life of our reactor a bit. Somewhere around here maybe? And then rotate the ship? That sounds good. Solar panel. Um, let's just kind of do this. <coughs> Alright. Now, what? We're gonna need some construction components on computers. Oh, man, you know what? If we want to re make repairs to the ship, we're gonna need manufacturing capabilities. Probably refinement, too, to get some materials back out of this scrap that we're picking up. Alright, alright. Um, that solar panel has the components that I had on me in it. Minus a few things. Alright, we need a refinery of some level and an assembler of some level. I'm not going to tear apart my med bay to make a survival kit. Let's see, um, 160 computers, that ain't happening. 80 computers is going to be hard enough. Um, what about, oh, there is no way I'm getting the steel tubes, not in the short term. The steel plates I could probably just strip out of the hole. Let's, let's. Let's go with a basic one for the moment. Alright, um, should I just slap it right here? This is going to be easiest to kind of get everything involved, I guess. Let's slap you there. And then... There is... Not on any of those sides. There we go. Connect you there, connect you there. Okay. Where am I going to get all of these computers? Wait a minute. I know what has a lot of computers. We don't need two command stations at the moment. We can strip one out. There we go. At least
least that far to get the computers out of it. Alright, um... Jeez. This whole place is a disaster. The freaking cargo and the flight deck. There used to be a blast doors here. Oh, rotor survived. The other... No, the matching rotor did not. Okay. Um... Bloody hell. Alright, let's get... Alright, that's all the computers. We need construction components. Steel plates, motors... What do we got? Steel plates... Motors... Let's try and get some of this stuff going. Little bits, little bits at a time. Alright. Gonna need some more motors. Wait, I think there were still some motors in that box I found the, uh... Solar panel components in. I don't know if it's enough. Should probably empty those out anyway. Come on, come here. Ugh, not enough. Uh, we'll grab the scrap out of there. You have co interior components. We're gonna. Your construction components. Let's get rid of that cargo. Not gonna do us too much good. Alright. Here we go, basic refinery online, which will let me reprocess some of this scrap. You, I don't have enough of yet. All right. Let's do that. All right, it's already reprocessing the scrap. Good. You are construction components. I need more motors. I need four more motors. Are there more motors in here? There are four more motors in here. Excellent. Okay. I mean, I could have always stripped out another gyro if I needed it, but... Better to keep as much of the existing ship intact as I can. This mess. Alright, alright, alright. Um, let's recharge and think. We've only got a few days, two days worth of power, not three days worth of power. Let's wait till I'm recharged and we'll see what it says. Two days? days. So it's sitting between two and three days. Of course, I can shut the uh, these two off when I'm not using them. Let's... Why are you not... There we go. Alright. All right. Silver panel. Here's my basic assembler. Basic refinery. Assembler is using power. The refinery does not. Alright, so we'll make sure to shut off the assembler whenever we're not using it. Uh, Alright. Alright. Um. Okay. What are you? Another military escort. We must have been hit by space pirates. Space pirates don't normally, like, hit this hard, though. They normally want stuff to salvage and steal. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's think about this another another second or two. Alright, I should be able to actually upgrade some of this stuff with the components I have on board. I have mining equipment, and now that I have a refinery set up, if I find anything I can mine, like any asteroids or anything like that, 
get new resources. But for right now, all the hydrogen and oxygen we have is from the ice. Uranium is my only power until I finish getting this solar panel set up, and even this isn't going to be much. What do I need still? Construction components? Oh, I got a few of those. Four computers. Looks like four computers and I'll be able to get this thing online. Oh, computers. I'm going to need so much silicon if I want to get anything. I mean, I've got a bunch of iron. I've got steel plates all over the place, but... Silicon? I better find it. I hope, I hope I find an asteroid or a trade station. I can't put this thing down on a planet without the cargo shuttle, so I'm not going to be able to get up and down from a planet. Alright. I might be able to get and run to some of these space pirates if I can. It's dangerous, though. Don't know if I'm really up for that. Alright, what else do we got? Um, I needed... I needed four more computers. I have four computers. I think I can do this and just be like, give me four? Alright. I have a few computers left. Not many. Solar panel is online. I should rotate that towards the sun. Let's make sure. Well, here's the uh, here's the moment where I make sure the uh, ship doesn't fall apart when I try to move it. Okay. I'm not hearing any clangs. Let's roll the ship. That should be the bottom of the ship facing the sun, relatively. Let's go take a quick look. Excellent. Four bars of power. All right. Well, it's not much, but the reactor will self-regulate if it doesn't need as much power, so... Okay. Six days. We're up to six days of power. <sighs> Look at this. Alright. Um, let's see about some of these systems that are offline. Uh, let's leave the turrets off for the moment. Thrusters are on. Gyros are on. Gravity generator. Um, it'll help me save a little bit of hydrogen if I can walk around easier than just magnetics. Uh, let's turn the gravity down so we're not burning as much power, though. A tenth of a G? Yeah, a tenth of a G will do for now. That's a lot of power. It removes an entire day's worth of juice, but I can now walk around. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's get the the, the... the armor around the bridge as repaired as we can get it. Little bits here and there. Probably gonna want to go ahead and get that operational when I can. Just try and weld some of this stuff back into proper shape. Here my lights on. It's, it's Using extra power, but I need to be able to see. 
spending so much time talking to myself already that I'm gonna go insane. Gotta find a train station. Anything else I can scrap down some of the some bits of the wool. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'll work down here a little bit. If I can. Okay, there we go. Good, good. Good, that space pirate is moving on as well. Jeez, oh, look at this mess. You know what? I'm not going to clean all of this up in a timely fashion. Let's, uh... Oop. Now let's get this one at least. Right. Lights off. Oh, this is still a mess. But I should really... Alright, let's see. Where even I'm, what, where where even is the all right? Let's let's check the 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 ship's computer. See if it's got anything. General heading. Oh, it's better than nothing. All right, let's get that on the HUD. Where am I? Where am I going? That way. Gotta be careful. Don't want anything going on. All right. Let's uh. Let's get these dampeners off. Let's see if she holds up under thrust. Time to get underway. All aboard who's going aboard. Fifty four minutes. Fifty four minutes under thrust. Well, she's seen better days. But the mission continues. Hello everyone, Brad here. I hope you're enjoying my new uh, light RP series. Don't worry, it's only going to be very light RP, just kind of, you know, as far as the scenario goes. As far as what the game is and uh, what sort of rules I have set for myself, um, everything is technically allowed, although I have set the asteroid spawn to... The absolute lowest you can go without actually turning them off. I then proceeded to delete all of the asteroids that were in range of my starting position, which is well far away from the Earth-like planet, which is our target. Uh, the target of the series is to make it to the Earth-like planet and establish a, uh, uh, a self-sufficient base. Uh, Basically, the idea being is that we are supposed to prepare for a colony ship that's coming behind us, but something happened while I was in cryosleep. Um, I have included a list of mods that are used in this uh, series in the description. Uh, not very many, just a few. And I have also included the, uh, the, the name of the blueprint that was used for the basis of the Icarus. <clears throat> in as terrible a shape as it is in. So if you are interested in any of the stuff that I am doing, go ahead and look those up by the names I have typed out in the comments, you know, or in the uh, description. And let me know what you think of this series. I hope that you don't mind uh, RP getting a little bit in the way of game mechanics and game mechanics getting a little bit in the way of RP because I am going to try and limit the influence one has on the other. 
but, you know, there's only so much you can do. Anyway, this series will be fairly irregular, as it will just come out as I have time to record it. Uh, this episode was a little bit rare in that there were no cuts. Uh, future episodes are likely to feature a few. Uh, which, of course, every time you make a cut, it ends up meaning it takes more time to get the recording done. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope to see you in the next one. So until then, have a good one.